It's not switching on. It's not switching on. Turn the key, nothing. All the fuses all out. Pete's gone, told him to go away. Breakdown, maybe recovery should be here within an hour and a bit, hopefully. Let's see if that's actually going to be true. And that's going to be a van, that's not going to be a recovery. So first of all, I will wait for recovery, uh, wait for the repair van. Don't know what it could be. Could be the ignition. It's not the fuses, the fuses are all fine. We could try changing a fuse. But I touched the bike off and it just won't switch back on again. So you'd think that there'd be enough battery in here to at least make the lights come on, but nothing. I'm going to put a voltmeter on it. If it was a voltmeter on it, then we know. I've got my camping chair, so sit down for a bit, I guess. So Pete didn't just leave me, it's okay. We did sit there for a while and tried to diagnose the bike. You know, we took all the fuses out just to make sure there wasn't just a very simple blown fuse. Um, unfortunately, nothing at all. Um, breakdown recovery guy came. He said, you got a flat battery. I said, well, that's not what I said on the phone to the breakdown recovery. So we just tested the battery. He said, yeah, it's fine. I said, yeah, it's not turning on. I've checked all the fuses. Look, nothing's... He said, yeah. He double-checked my findings. said, yeah. He said, it's probably the barrel or something like that. Something's a bit of a loose connection somewhere, but we're going to just strip down too much. So just get you recovered. Annoyingly, I was only one hour from home or an hour and a half from home at the time I broke down. Uh, this is about 12 o'clock, 12.30. Anyway, I ended up getting home just before 5 p.m. Yes, that was a bit of a long day. And I'm getting recovered. So, nothing, not a zip. I have power. These are all good. I think it's the ignition. So let's just try another key. I think it's the barrel's worn. I think the barrel is uh, the problem here. So only one way to find out. Strip it all down. Got the screen off. Getting scared now. It's when plastic starts to break and this won't go back together again. Oh dear. Got to get these screws off to get behind here. But that was 20 minutes. Just getting these two boys out. These things were seized. They're just full of rust. Just 100% rust they are. Huh. Luckily I got them out. Right, let's carry on. Somewhere now. Now that I've got the panel off. Don't try to adjust your set. My camera isn't broken. I just thought I'd better blur all this out because, well, I've basically got the bike hot wired at the moment. Um, started the bike up without the keys. Just bypassed, you know, the odd thing here and there. Little bit here and there. I don't really want to be the one who uploads a video on how to steal my own bike. Didn't think that would be wise. So, need to replace the barrel. And I've got a five pin barrel, it looks like. Or a three pin. Right, a few days later. Got my new key barrel. Of course, nothing's as easy as, uh, of course, this is the wrong connector. This won't just plug in. Um, they all seem to be like this, so I'm gonna have to, I don't know, chop it, disconnect the block, something like that. Yeah, okay, I'll work that out in a minute. I'm very lucky here because so far this is actually turning. I've actually just, so this is a bit of a break. <laughs> I've kind of like customised my own breaker by using a, a spark plug socket. But you need a tiny wrench to get in there. It was turning and I've got it, I don't know, a few millimetres out, maybe one or two. And it's starting to round off. So I'm going to get the impact driver on it. If that doesn't work, I will cry. I don't think this is going to work, but it's worth a try. Many hours later, it's done, it's fixed. I just need to put all the stuff back on now. What a pain in the butt. 
putting the wing mirror back on and pulled the rubber thing off. Found a cluster of dead spiders. Ooh. And I took the bike out for a good long, I don't know, 50 odd mile ride. Absolutely fine. And my left indicator decided not to work. Luckily I stopped around a mate's house and they told me exactly what it was. Took it apart, cleaned it out and it's all good. So VFR is now back to 100%, I hope. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch the next video. Ciao.